Hello, and welcome to The Stitching Kitchen. Our episode is about the continuing relationship between your chart and pattern, your fabric, and your threads. I think that the hunt for your threads is the funnest thing that we do, but then I love color, so that's always my second deciding factor. I think it's important that you pull a fabric first, and then a lot of the girls out there do, and guys, sorry fellas, do what they call a floss toss. That means they buy the fabric, they gather all their threads up, and they toss it on the fabric to see how it looks. I have a tendency if I'm doing a face or skin with that pattern that I remove all the skin colors because I just want to see the gown or whatever else the building it's going to look like. This is the pattern I showed you about Miss Kitty and the pin cube. Well, I pulled the fabric that she called for, which is this beautiful ash rose. And I like that fabric, and because this is so small, I did not want to do any over dyed fabric for it at all. So here are the fabric, the threads. Some of them you might not be able to see. Aren't those great? This is just yummy. So I'm gonna have a good time stitching that. Here's my pattern with the snowman and the kitties. Now I was aghast. I, I turned it over and she said that this color, it wasn't, I was looking for white thread. There was no white thread. The color that she chose is this pale color. And I thought at first, I don't know if I want to do that. And then I decided I do. So I didn't have exactly the color that she asked for, but I had the count that she asked for, which is 30 count. So remember, that means if we're stitching over two threads, 30 count would equal 15 threads to the running inch. So I went in my stash and I found this great blue fabric. And then I pulled the threads and I laid it on there. And now I can see how this is gonna work for the snowman. And that's all the colors that pattern's gonna take. And I really like it. So let me tell you how I store my threads. I keep those little chests that have drawers in them. I keep the threads by color number in those chests because I go through my stash and pull out the colors and put them with my pattern. Then I have these little boxes I got at Michael's. They're red, they were for Valentine's, but they're perfect. Lay them out and put the colors in by color. All the reds, all the blues, all the greens, all the beiges, all the browns, blah, blah, blah. I do that because I design. And when I need a color, I just go to the box that has red threads in it and I dig through there. Or I go to my general arts and I look in the reds. I divide those all up by color. And the same with Weeks Dye Works. So however you store your threads, I don't care as long as they're easy to get to and what you want. It says Tuscany there. Look at these colors. Aren't those yummy? Now these are just plain floss colors, which is nothing wrong with that. And because the pattern has so many color changes, I didn't want to play around with an over dyed thread. That's all I have to say about the basics. And I will see you next time. <laughs>